Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Alex and Books. I'm your host Alex, and the book we'll be covering today is Discipline Equals Freedom, Field Manual by Jock Llewellyn. Now this book is uh, unlike any other motivational or self-improvement book that I've read. It really tells it to you straight. It doesn't care about making you feel better, it cares about making you better. Now, Jocko doesn't waste time using fill words or talking nonsense in this book. He's very straight to the point, he keeps it simple, and then he moves on to the next thing he wants to discuss. This book covers the strategies and tactics that Jocko uses to conquer weakness, procrastination, fear, and also includes Jocko's personal workout regimen and the food that he eats to optimize performance. Within these pages, readers will find the keys needed to become stronger, faster, healthier, smarter, and overall a better person. For those of you unfamiliar with Jocko Willink, he's a retired Navy SEAL officer. He spent 20 years in the Navy SEALs. He also co-authored the book Extreme Ownership, which I highly recommend reading. And he also runs Echelon Front, which is a business consulting company. And he's also a podcaster and runs Jocko Podcast, which I highly recommend checking out. All right, so now let's get into the book. So the first lesson is discipline equals freedom, which comes from the book's title. Now, this may seem like a contradiction at first, but having more discipline in your life will actually give you more freedom. When you have discipline, you don't let outside factors influence your life. You become in control in your life, not your impulses, addictions, or anything else. For example, if you want financial freedom, you need to have financial discipline. If you want more free time, you need to have a disciplined schedule. And if you want to have high levels of energy so you are free to go hiking or rock climbing, you need to have discipline to eat a healthy diet. So discipline is good for you, but how do you get it? Discipline actually comes from within. Sure, you have someone like a drill instructor or a coach enforce discipline on you, but that will go away once the person leaves. Instead, you need self-discipline. Now you might be asking, how do I do that? Well, the answer is simple. Every action you take gives you a chance at building self-discipline. Do you eat an apple or chocolate bar for a snack? Do you go to the gym or do you stay home and watch TV? Do you read a book before bed or do you look through social media? Every decision you take gives you a chance to build your self-discipline muscle. So use your self-discipline muscle at every opportunity that presents itself. Instead of going for the easy choice, go for the right choice. And over time, you'll be able to consistently pick the right thing to do for yourself. Lesson number two, show your code lies. This is actually one of my favorite lessons in Jocko's book. So Jocko writes about how sweet and soft donuts are and how a lot of the times they're given out for free. Birthday celebrations, office parties, free breakfast Fridays, free donuts are everywhere. So if someone offers you a nice, sweet, sugary donut for free, you should take it, right? Wrong. Dead wrong. Jocko says that donuts aren't food, they're poison. It's the same with chocolate chip cookies, cake, soda. All junk food is junk. It doesn't fuel you, it literally kills you, one bite at a time. Think about it, you get a short, high feeling, but junk food won't make you smarter, stronger, healthier, or in any way better in your life. So Jocko reminds people that they don't need junk food in their life. One, it's poison, and two, you can always fast and not eat for several hours. Junk food will tempt you, but remember, these are sugar-coated lies. They will actually hurt you and not help you. So use your self-disciplined muscle to control yourself and avoid any junk food at all. Lesson number three, have a good mindset. How does Jocko deal with setbacks, failure, or defeat? Well, he simply says the word good. Jocko tells a story of when he was in the SEAL team and a younger guy came up to him with a problem and Jocko would just tell him, good. This actually happened a couple of times, but then one day when a soldier was telling Jocko about a problem, he said, I already know what you're gonna tell me. So Jocko asked, what am I gonna say? And the younger soldier replied, you're gonna say good. That's what you always say. And Jocko said, well, I mean it. Mission got canceled, good. We could focus on another one. Didn't get the high speed gear we wanted, good. We could keep the mission simple. Didn't get promoted, good. More time to get better. Didn't get funded, good. We own more of the company. Got injured, good. Needed a break from training. That's it, Jocko says. When things go bad, don't get frustrated because that won't do anything and say, say the word, Good. Jocko makes a point to say that being positive is better than being negative, but that still won't solve the problem. What will solve the problem is taking action. Whatever you're going through, if you can say the word good, then guess what? It means you're still alive and you still have energy to fight back. So to quote Jocko, get up, dust off, reload, recalibrate, re-engage, and go out on the attack. 
So in conclusion, readers should remember three things. The first is that discipline equals freedom. And if you want to have freedom in your life, you need to have discipline. And discipline comes from within. The second is sugar-coated lies. So do the best you can to avoid all types of junk food. This includes chocolate chip cookies, soda, cake, chips, anything that will make you healthier, smarter, or a better person overall. And lastly, have a good mindset. When things go bad, there's usually at least one positive aspect of the situation. But it's not enough to be positive. You also have to do something to make the situation better and solve the problem. Now, if you're looking for secrets or shortcut, then this book isn't for you. The point of this book is that there are no secrets or shortcuts in life. It's just hard work day in and day out. And that's the type of guy Jocko is. He wakes up at 4.30 every morning. He posts a picture of his watch on Instagram to prove the point. And he also posts another picture that day to show that he got his workout in. The book is actually a very quick read. It's less than 200 pages. And the entire book is actually in black and white. Now, people already know a lot of the lessons in this book, like don't eat sugar, exercise often, have a positive mindset, but when it comes from Jocko, there's a much higher chance of it sticking in your mind because of the amount of respect people have for this guy. In the end, readers will have learned at least two very valuable lessons. First is the need for self-discipline in your life, and the second is you have to take action. Don't just read this article or watch this video or read this book, but go out there and do things. Do the work that needs to be done, even if you don't feel like doing it. Do will make you stronger, will make you smarter, will make you a better person in life. And if you look at the back of the book, it actually says there is no shortcut, there is no hack. There's only one way, so get after it. And that way is discipline equals freedom. The more discipline you have in your life, the more freedom you'll get in your life. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and you can also subscribe. And if there are any other books you'd like me to review, please leave a comment. I'll be looking through them later today. Also, feel free to check out alexandbooks.com. There I write all my book reviews, book recommendations, and everything else related to what I'm working on. You can also follow me on social media at alexandbooks. And let me know what you thought of this video. And if you read this book, let me know what lessons you learned from it and what you liked and didn't like about it. Thank you everyone for watching. Take care. See ya.